Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. So I'm continuing to work with and use Linux Mint 18.2 Sonya. This is a beta release and I've got the Cinnamon desktop set up as well as XFCE and so far it's been really stable. Uh, I've gotten into the theming side of things quite a bit lately with everything that I've been using and to me that's always fun. Well I found an awesome uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon Ultimate Theme Pack, if you will, thanks to Eric Dubois. So I want to point over to his GitHub setup here, and you're going to see down here about halfway through uh, Ultimate Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon. Now, I have applied several of the themes that are in place in this pack. Essentially, what you'll do is you'll download this. It's a zip file. Uh, once downloaded, you'll extract that into a folder, and we'll take a look at that here in just a minute. But I just want to give a huge shout out to Eric for putting this Ultimate Linux Mint pack together because it made the theming process absolutely easy, and there's some additional software in there that we'll take a look at as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and minimize this. Well, we'll close that out, and I'll close this out. Uh, now, I have applied the Sardi icon set to both Linux Mint XFCE as well as Cinnamon. And so far from what I can tell in working with both extensively, it has applied flawlessly everywhere. And what I mean by that is I'm not missing icons anywhere. Um, everything has applied to the point of it's it's just very cohesive. It's it's everywhere that it needs to be. The other thing I have applied is the popular ARC theme. All right, so let's jump over into the File Explorer here. We'll go into Downloads. And I've already extracted the zip file into the folder here. And I'll go ahead and close out video as we take a look at this. Now, you're going to see a lot more here than just theme packs. What these are are script files. And if it's not already set up, if you right-click and go to Properties on any of the .sh script files, go to Permission and make sure that you have Allow Executing File as Program checked. Once you've determined that that is checked, you can then click on the file and it'll open up in the terminal to start an install. Now, I don't want to do that now, and I also want to throw out a word of caution to you. Typically, it's not a good idea from a security standpoint to just download a bunch of scripts and use them to install software. So I'm going to just, word of caution here, install these at your own risk. Uh, I have installed the themes and a couple pieces of software from Eric's pack here and have had zero issues. But you do this at your own risk. It's typically not a good idea unless you know where the scripts come from. Um, all right, so that's enough of the disclaimer. Now, I want to point out what I've set up and installed from this Ultimate Linux Mint Pack. Now, this, again, made it so easy, but I installed the Sardi Extra V2, the Icon Sardi V2, as well as Sardi Vintage. And then I also installed the Numix Icon Set, and I think from reading that that needs to be in place in order for these to apply completely. Uh, and then the other thing that I installed out of this pack was the GTK Arc theme. There's also the Arc Red theme. However, I did not install that. Also installed the Blackbird theme as well as Vertex. Now you'll see here there's a lot more in this pack that would really speed up your installation. So for example, um, you've got, let's see here in software, NeoFetch. Um, you've got Peak. You've got Simple Screen Recorder. Uh, Skype Alpha, Spotify, Sublime Text Editor, Team Viewer, Telegram is here, uh, Wire, Vivaldi, Visual Studio, so on and so forth. So various bits and pieces of software as well as printer, Canon printer drivers here, config apps, various projects, notes and things uh, with theming. There's also the Minty uh, transparent theme where you're application launcher and everything will have transparency to it. So it's really awesome that Eric put this all together and, you know, basically open this up to the public to use to make setting up your Linux Mint install that much better. So Eric, kudos to you. Thank you very much. Also here on his page, you're going to see information relating to Arch Labs. Uh, so there may be various... Uh, tools and things available here with um, with Arch Labs if you're running that. 
But uh, fantastic job here on the ultimate Linux Mint 18.1 cinnamon pack. And I will just say that everything applied not only flawlessly in cinnamon, but it also works extremely well um, within XFCE, which I have running here. So, all right. Hope that helps. Wanted to share that with you. I think it's awesome. And we will check you later.